there's a fundamental principle that is the base, that is the mother of the whole selling. So before we go and start, make sure you grab your coffee. <laughs> so in order for you to be able to sell to any, anything to anyone, you must first understand the principle behind selling. There's a fundamental principle that is the base, that is the mother of the whole selling. And we are going to look into that right now. But before I go into it, and before I go to explain about it, I would like to ask you this question. And this question is, okay, it's not one, it's actually three questions. <laughs> the first one, have you ever Question yourself, why would any business put a lot of money or give away so much money from their pocket to an affiliation? Have it ever came to your mind? Or why would anyone perhaps wants to, in first place, sponsor someone that is doing something random that has nothing to do with their business? Why would they want to give that money? Why would they care about that? And not last but not least, why do you think referrals closes the most easiest and the fastest? I'm gonna leave that with you. And we will come back to it and maybe, just maybe, it might make sense to you just in a second why I asked that question. I want you to imagine for a second um, when you go to an hospital and to meet a doctor. How would that doctor make you feel? What are the emotions that pops up in you? And what do you think when you see a doctor? Well, for me, when I see a doctor, what comes to my mind is that I'm in a safe hand and he knows what he's doing and I'm gonna get my cure that I'm looking for. And I don't care what does he ask for, and how much he's asking for. Now, I would like you to imagine how would that make you feel if you would be able to make your client feel exactly the same way? Well, let's look why a doctor gives us such a feeling. So this is where I want to tackle in this basic, basic principle and the fundamental that no one tells you about it and this fundamental is dun, 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 da, 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 it's called trust <coughs> can you just gain a trust well let me tell you something trust is earned and we don't trust so easily trust is one of the most difficult component of the selling trust is the key component of our social life yes this is the reason why majority of large companies sponsor and put a lot of money on someone who's doing a youtube or oh, this is the reason why an affiliation partner or affiliation uh, person who are affiliated with a product gets a lot of money by actually promoting someone else. Or well, this is why a referrals has been spent a lot of money too. A lot of company has been spending a lot of money to it because referrals, affiliation, and sponsors convert quite fast. If your client, your prospect do not trust you, you will not make him move. If you were to able to create this trust fundamental basic principle with everything that's changing around you, I tell you, you can even sell anything that you have. People buy people first, then the product 
or services that you're providing. So if you were to able to create that trust with your prospect, your potential ideal client, I tell you, you will not have any problem in selling. You could sell anything to anyone at any point. And this is called building relationship. So creating a trust comes from having a proper relationship. And if you are asking yourself, but okay, Hodan, I understand I have been an event, I could able to create a um, relationship and build of trust. On the face-to-face, -face, I'm able to create trust. Yes, I'm able to create trust on the phone, but hey, I'm talking to a camera. I'm talking to a post. I'm talking to a, a technology. So how am I able to create a relationship? Or how can I build a trust with someone that I'm not physically next to each other as we are human beings that are all about connection. We build through connection. We build about to each others through being physically next to each other or hearing our voice. So we have different ways to connect with someone. If you do the following three things, I promise you, you're going to get this trust turned around. You want to hear about it? But before I go and explain that to you, if you have not yet subscribed and you're still with me here, promote me and make sure to subscribe and share with those who really think like you think that they might need this. So go ahead and give me the comment on the below what you are finding out so far interesting. <laughs> but let's go and look at these three steps to creating this trust and relationship through technology. So how do you build this trust, this relationship through technology? Well, and the first one is to be you, be authentic, because there are so many scammers, there are so many uh, non-trustworthy people out there, be, you know, be you, be as much as possible real. So the more you are authentic, you are building the credibility. So the more you being uh, basically sharing how you're doing things and how you're creating things and let them be there with you through the journey. You want them to go through the journey with you as you're building. And if you have been already existing in the market on the offline space and now you're coming on this online space because of Corona, COVID, whatever is happening, what you need to do is that still help them find you, help them walk through with you this whole journey that you are building yourself out there and they will be supporting you on this process. So the more you are honest, the more you are authentic, the more you are really sharing because you are there to do and help them. So you are talking at the end of the day to a human being. So the more they will trust you by being yourself and showing the real person that they are talking to you. And there through you build that credibility. So be human being and be authentic and share the things that you are doing to helping them. Now, the second step is being genuine. So being genuine, I mean by, see, one way is that you can tell and teach and share and blah, all this stuff, you can do that, that's fine. But show to them how it works. So whatever you are providing, you need to be able to, or you want, you don't need to, but you want to actually show how it works. So one is through, you know, you can show, give them something to learn, give them something to work with, something that let them get the result that they need. Give them a tip, give them something to work with and 
give as much as you can. Not one thing, not two things, not three things, but as much as you can. Give them. Because there is something called reciprocity. Excuse my pronunciation. <laughs> reciprocity. So when you give, 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 what happens is people are genuinely want to support you and give it back. So therefore, genuinely and even there is like a law of giving. So when you give, you receive. So be genuine and give. So the thirdly but not least is being consistent. Well, guys, I have to admit, I haven't been consistent for a very long time. So I promised myself, no matter what's happening, I'm going to be consistent with my YouTube. So that's why I need your support because what I'm aiming here is to help you as well to really get your sales goals up. So let me know on the comment section, what is it really that you might find it very challenging when it comes to selling online, offline, on the phone, as a cult, as a warm, as a generating leads to LinkedIn? I don't, I don't mind, but tell me what is it that you are perhaps would love more help with. I am here genuinely to support you so i would love to give you more content that will help you so go ahead in the comment section share with me where you feel that you might be really would love to learn more about you would love to hear, hear more with so i'm here to do that for you so go ahead and let me know so the third is being consistent so ask yourself how much are you there see your client, tell the ideal client, your potential client, your prospect would love to see you being there on a consistent basis. But consistent does not really mean only consistent in regards to you know posting, consistent in uh, sharing, consistent in uh, being there, but it means also inconsistent with your messaging inconsistent of uh, with what you are providing see if they don't see what you are consistent with they might not stick around with you it's all right if you haven't yet figured out your messaging we all when we are in the early stages coming to these online spaces it's not that easy to come up with the message and being on a consistent basis and that's all right your ideal client will be there to support you make sure to be on a consistent basis make sure that you actually there to support and be you so this literally built that credibility because when you have the credibility you create authority and when you have authority you build the trust which actually a lot of um, doctors a lot of um, police because when we were young and child our parents would tell us always to be careful to talking with strangers do you remember that i mean as soon as you see a stranger, it's like, oh, oh, I'm not talking to that stranger. And this is exactly what is somewhere in our head still locked. But then when they see the white coat, oh yeah, that is the person you should follow. And when you see the guy with the hat of the police, you say, yes, he's protecting me here. So he's the authority. Yes, I will follow. So coming down again into knowing that we are working around with the, the stranger space so you want to help your prospect to finding you out of this ex extremely busy noisy space and realizing that what you really truly offering is for that